Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Splatoon Online Turf Wars. In this video series, we're going online and giving you guys a showcase of each and every one of the weapons. As you guys know, the paintbrush is a brand new downloadable weapon that you can get. It's very new, it's awesome, it just came out. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out on this episode. Simply because it is a new one and this is very exciting for us because we're used to the splatter shots, we're used to the rollers and the chargers, but now this is a new game, so let's find out if it's going to be good or not as good. Let's jump into the equipment. So as of right now, uh, there is the ink brush. Okay, so the range is very bad. Um, the ink speed is great. Handling is very good too. Not really sure what handling is all about, but anyway, if you guys take a look at it, uh, the sub weapon is the sprinkler and the special is an ink strike. So to make up for the poor range, you have ink strike and sprinkler, so that's pretty good. So you're going to have to learn how to use that. A newly developed weapon with a high mobility and sturdy brush design. Its ink trail is narrow, but uh, it inks the ground at incredible speed and delivers swift, close-range attacks. Now, forewarning, you think that this is going to be a melee weapon. Kind of like if you're used to, you know, first-person shooters where, you know, you bought them and it's a one-hit KO. That's not the case with this weapon at all, which is kind of something to be desired. So I'll show you guys. Now I tailored my gear to give myself two um, attack ups and one defense. So I don't have the best gear, but if you're going to wield this weapon, you want a little bit more attack up or else you're going to have to literally stand in front of an opponent and hit him one, two, three, four, five times before he can even like die. It's that weak. So if you don't have two to three, um, you know, plus strength power-ups, this is not going to be a good weapon for you. So in review, I'm thinking that this is a very smaller version of the roller. Um, so I've got kind of a mixed feelings about it right now. As you guys can see from my weapon, I've already played a lot with it, just so uh, I can give you guys a better understanding of how you play with this. Um, now, keep in mind, like I said, this is a mini roller, so whatever you do with the roller, this thing does it a little bit quicker. But we'll have to find out to see if it's going to be efficient enough. Alright, so as you guys know, in um, all of these um, levels in Turf War, you want to make sure that your base area is covered up as best you can. As you guys see, you can swing left and right just by pressing the trigger, and if you press and hold the trigger, uh, you'll be able to... Um, move on. Ooh. Okay, as you guys saw there, I hit him at least three or four times, and that did not work out to my favor. I got hit by a mine. Alright, let's just put that there for now. A little sprinkler action. There we go. Let's put that one there. I gotta clean this middle spot. There we go. While well, that guy's distracted by my little uh, sprinkler. Okay, we're going to put... Oh, God. What was that? Oh, another mine. Oh, I hate that. Dude, this guy's putting these ink mines in the same spot every time. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. Do a little bit of ink action. Now, what, that's one of my strategies is going through, throwing the sprinkler down. And then while it's going, um, you know, just refill up on ink. No, another mine. Wow, okay. He's putting them all over the place, this guy. Alright, so now that I've got control over this, I can easily ink up the surroundings. Wow, he's just trying to rain on my parade over here. I don't think so. I'm not going to let it happen. Okay, I've got the ink strike. I'm going to put the ink strike where my guys are at over there. Okay, I pretty much have this all covered, which is good. So I'm just going to focus on my teammates doing some work. Or I can just go do some work myself. Alright, now keep in mind, you can move around like this as quick as you can, but you will run out of ink very quickly. Oh, here comes Kraken. Oh, God. Huh. 
Baby squid versus big squid. <laughs> it looks like my sprinkler is doing a lot of work over here. That's pretty good. It's doing more work than me. All right, let's see how we do. Is this our beacon? Yeah, it is. All right, I got a, yes, I got an ink splat right at the end, and watch, it's just going to cover it up for extra credit after the buzzer. That is the ultimate strategy, so learn from me on that. Oh, man, that feels so good. Whew, not like I needed it, but there are times where right at the end, you know, it's 50-50, and then you pull off the last minute ink strike, it goes all the way up, the counter's already done, everyone's frozen in place, and then out of nowhere, bam, it opens up, and what do you know? Oh, where is my... Oh, yeah, here we go. Look at that. Okay, well, we got the King of Ink crown, as you guys can see over here. What we're doing on every single episode, whenever I win a match, I get to wear the awesome King of Ink Nappy Dread Splatoon crown. This thing's awesome. So, it's like I have, um... What is this? Ponytails or long hair? Just like... <sighs> <laughs> All right, so Irawanimal is going to be a little bit different uh, because we need to know, as an ink brush person, we need to know where we're going to put our um, our little jets. All right, I'm just going to put it way up ahead over here. Hopefully, it'll do some work for me over there. There is plenty of spots I want to show you where we can put them. All right, there's usually someone around this or over here now. Okay, I do have the ink strike. Okay, I'm gonna quickly, oh, I shot theirs right when they shot mine. Oh man, not good. That's okay, I got one off. But as you guys can see, like our area over here is very weak. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little ink over there. Uh, yeah, hello. All right, go ahead and cover that up for me, please. All right, I need to cover up some pathways. Oh, look, I got a friend. Where is he at? Where did he go? He's somewhere. Got him. Good job. Oh, no, he's not dead yet. Okay, now. Now we got him. Good job. All right, so we got to do some work. Now, you'll notice that the spray range, whenever you, like, swipe back and forth, is pretty awesome. Oh my, what, whoa, whoa, whoa. That guy's trying to go up the wall, it's not working. It is not working, dude. Pink owns this town, get out of here. Ooh, where did this green guy come from? Oh, he was still alive the whole time. <laughs> we just like thought it was over. Look at all three of us over here. All right, I'm coming. No, oh, bad idea. Yikes, that's not fun. Okay, well, it looks like we have a, uh, a, a beacon over here. I'm going to use it. So thanks for whoever um, put that over there. I saw him in the ink. How are you guys not dead? How are you guys not dead? I need to learn how to jump more. That's really what it is. Give me another squid beacon, please. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, I'm going to actually throw my sprinkler in here. Just to reclaim all that ink that happened. Alright, come on. We need this. Dude, I'm getting wrecked. Come on, guys. Whoa, they're like right on us. We need to plow past them. That's really what it is. In 10 seconds? Oh crud. That's all we can do. That is really, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of the ink spot. You saw someone launch one of those rockets? Oh, I don't know. I don't think we did it. No, yeah, we lost it. Mm, wah, wah. 
I really wasn't holding up my weight that time around 685. Well, I got second place on my team, but Dale, come on, Dale and Sebi, what are you guys doing? All right, well, you guys know the drill. Whenever I lose, I can't wear this awesome crown. So there you have it. Wah, wah. All right, no worries. So as you guys can tell, um, with this weapon, you know, it's a lot of splattering left and right. Kind of what the roller does, you know, when you drop the hammer down with the roller. But I feel that the roller does it even more efficiently. This is just left and right, like slapping people silly. And as you guys can tell, like as I was attacking people, they don't die in one hit, like if you brought the hammer down with the roller. So that makes me want to say that, I don't know, what's the point of this weapon? Just to be honest, I mean, I don't really, I like Ink Strike, I like the sprinkler to make up for everything. But uh, we're just gonna have to see how we do. All right, let's do some more, here we go. All right, wonderful. All right, we got this. I'm gonna try to hide away into this area. I love going this back way. Let's ink strike right in the middle there. Okay, looking good. Okay, good, I got one of my buddies here. I'll stick around. Nice, nice, that was like a double K, oh God. Look at me, look at me. One versus one, a gun versus the brush. You can't win. There's no way. There's no way. All right, I'm just gonna come on over here, throw this in the middle of this thing. Hopefully reclaim some of that turf. Looks like no one's claimed this at all. I'll go claim it really quick. Claim this a little bit. Okay, let's go. I'll throw that over there. Hopefully that sprinkler does a little bit of work. If it doesn't, then oh well, that's not a big deal. All right, how's the rest of the team doing? I got an ink strike coming. All right, I'll put it right in the middle of there. And that'll be a perfect opportunity for me to infiltrate. Nice. Okay, here's a really good strategy. Throw this on the wall right there. And that'll protect your whole area right there, which is pretty awesome, in case you guys haven't ever done that. It's kind of like a wall. There we go, you see that? You see how it's blocking everyone? It's perfect. There we go, we got a squid beacon here. That's perfect. Whoever threw that there knows exactly what they're doing. All right, I'm gonna put the uh, rocket right over there. Oh, I should have saved it, I really should have. Oh, dude, we were winning. We were winning. Look at that bottom screen. <sighs> mm. Mm. You got to be kidding me. That win was just stolen from me. You guys saw how I put the sprinkler on the wall over there. None of them could reach it, and it was like raining down. Now imagine if... My teammate, who also had a brush, had another sprinkler on the other side. No one would be able to cross that. Uh, well, luckily for you guys, it's an extended episode. And we're going back to the mall, baby. Let's do this. You know what? Forget that. I deserve that last win. Let's go. <laughs> we totally won that one. All right, pretty much, you know, I rarely ever like drag the brush on the ground. I just spray a little bit and keep on going. Wow, these guys are aggressive. What is that? Oh, okay, that's my weapon, okay. Get him. Got her. Punk? <laughs> All 
All right, let's put that sprinkler up. I'm gonna throw this ink strike really quick. There we go, got that sprinkler up. Yeah, where's my team? Where's my team at? It's like I'm flying solo over here. <laughs> there we go. There we go, a little bit of jumping. Like a boss, look at me over here. Yeah! <laughs> Let's do an ink strike right at their base. Heck yeah! Oh, this is wonderful. Where's my team at? Alright, see how I did that, guys? This is good. Put the pressure on him with that sprinkler. Where's she going? Okay, I'm gonna save this ink strike. Oh, good! Dude! Nice! I'm gonna save this ink strike for the end. There we go. Where, what the? There we go. Six, five, four, three, two. Ink strike for the win, baby. Watch. Whoop. A little bit extra credit. Oh, man. Yes, dude. Are you kidding me? Best episode yet. Oh, dude, look at that. If that wasn't like the best round I've ever played. I don't know what was. 1573, I don't think I've ever gotten that score before. And this is with the little brush here. You know what? I kind of like this thing. If you do a little bit of jumping around um, and you're smart about where you put your sprinklers, <laughs> you'll be golden like me, baby. Oh, man. If that wasn't pro gameplay, oh, tell me. All right, so there we go. So in conclusion... Um, I would say that the ink brush is pretty offensive. It's a little more rapid fire than the roller. Uh, but I would say that the roller has got it with ink coverage. You know what? I don't know. I rarely ever drag it on the ground to move. I mean, you can use that as an escape route, but then you use your ink, but you don't necessarily cover as much ground. Um, my thing is, you know, go through, <laughs> look at me, like my hair. I would say go through and, uh, you know, splat forward ahead of you and then swim through it so that you reload and then rinse and repeat. You know, I think that's the best way of doing it. And then at the same time, you know, throw one of the um, sprinklers, let it do a little bit of work, um, you know, swim through, refill your ink and whenever you can, throw another sprinkler. That's really the strategy involved. Rarely will you ever get a chance to be one-on-one -on -one next to someone and you know smash them back and forth because you're it's going to be a losing battle you guys saw that i've got two strength up power ups and one defense and i still couldn't like kill one versus one versus like a splatter shot you can't win so your best bet is to i guess use it like a, a roller you know just kind of push all the ink at them anyway guys that was an epic episode. Oh my god, I'm so pumped up right now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, definitely smash that like button. And let me know in the comment section below uh, what kind of weapon you want to see me do next. There's plenty of other ones. Um, as you guys can see over here. Um, yeah, let's actually choose. Yeah, I've got some new ones, actually. I've got the splatter scope. I've got the .96 gallon. Um, I got the .52 gal deco. Um, I got the Blaster, uh, Splattershot Pro. I've got a lot of good stuff. So 
I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below which one you would like to see, and we'll go from there. It'll be very great. So thank you so much for watching. And of course, yes, smash that like button. And if you guys haven't already, in the description, there are links to all of the playlists of Splatoon. I did the one player mode, I did the amiibo challenges. There's even a link where you can go ahead and buy Splatoon at a discount. So go for it. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.